Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Ocean Digital WR23D. This is a portable internet radio with FM, DAB, DAB+, and Bluetooth. Gotta love it. Um, I found this on Amazon for $68.99. The prices fluctuate between 75 and 68, so keep an eye out. Um, really caught my eye because of its size and it's portable. <laughs> I have a thing for portable radios, as you guys know, and Wi-Fi, amazing. Pretty excited about this radio. So let's check out the box. Ocean Digital, picture of the radio, information there. Hear the difference. Sweet. OceanDigitalShop.com. All right. Side there, we got some bullet points. Um, we'll go over some of that information in case I missed something. There you go. Let's get my cover back. There we are. Uh, here are the difference again. Okay, so the back is the same as the front. Let's unbox this. It's an unboxing video plus a demo, yeah, and review. <laughs> to do a lot with this radio. There's a lot of features. Hopefully I cover it all. A bunch of paperwork in the box. Here's the radio. And I think there's a cable. Yep, the cable just fell out. The box is empty. All right, just go ahead and set that back right there. Let's look at this cable. What do we get for a cable? It is a USB to Type C. Okay, um, pretty much this this charges at one amp. Uh, the doesn't need anything super high, so you're going to be using this cable Type C to Type C. You're not going to notice any advantage to that um, as far as charging speeds. So it just charges at one amp. But there you go for the cable. Nice. Could they give that to us? Paperwork. Well, they give us a couple things. Let's look at the first sheet of paperwork. We got a dear customer. Thank you for choosing. Some information there if you need it. Uh, multiple languages, I believe. There you are. Quick start guide. Um, pause and read that if you need it. It's about getting uh, on the internet. It was pretty easy. I didn't even need this. Uh, it just took some time entering my pass key in because upper and lower case, it's sensitive. Yes, for your password. So if you have a long password like me, it'll take a little bit of time to enter those characters in. But once you're done, you're done. Saves it all. Next is a very thick manual. And it's multilingual, so that's nice. Um, I'm just going to quickly just show you how it's laid out. Uh, a nice table of contents. There you go. I'm going to go rather quickly here. You can always pause and read this. And uh, yeah, so it, it's really cool. It has a rechargeable battery. Like in that setup. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. Network setup is pretty neat. You can also add static IP to this. Um, it's important for some people. Uh, there you go. Some basic information under settings. Loving that. More about internet radio and how it's displayed. That's the best part. When I get to this, it's just very exciting for me because it's portable. I can take it to the library. I can take it anywhere on a Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, if I'm at a hotel, it's just amazing. It, you know, people ask, why do I need a Wi-Fi radio when I have my phone? Well, you have your phone, but you need a Bluetooth speaker to have it sound as good as this. So now you have multiple devices. I just want one. That's how I am. Uh, plus, I got a portable FM radio. It sounds fantastic. The speaker on this thing is amazing. I'll get to demo that for you guys. Here's configuration. There's quite a bit to configure, as you can see. Um, IP, DNS, date and time. Um, you can do quite a bit with this radio. Um, yeah, servers. Okay, we're just going through pretty quickly here. Because there's a lot of pages. I want to cover this radio pretty in depth. There's a lot to it. Uh, you can control the phone. I think I did. I go pretty quickly through there. Okay, right here we are. Uh, no, I did pass it up. So there's a app, I believe, for a phone. There you go. You can check it out uh, if you want to control your radio with a phone. But I don't want to. I just want the device. Same with the computer. You can actually set up your favorites with your computer. Um, it looks like you can add websites that may not be available to the radio. That's pretty nice. Some troubleshooting information. And it keeps rebuffering. Yeah, I have to watch that, especially when you have a busy household like mine. I do run into that. Oh, and specifications. There you go. If you guys need to know, there it is, all in one shot. Um, some pretty decent information there. We'll okay, cover most of that. Okay, and we're done with that book. Okay, so let's get to the radio. The biggest thing is it's double bubble wrapped. <laughs> Ocean Digital, thank you. That's a big thing to me. I love bubble wrap, and you did it twice. <laughs> that is great. 
And it even came with a screen protector, which I took off. So if you guys are into that. So here it is. Looking nice. You know, simple black. No shiny plastics. Yay. <laughs> uh, they didn't take that from Sanjin, which is good. I like this matte black. It looks, you know, it just looks good. Simple. Uh, does not show up fingerprints. Utilitarian. That's the best. Uh, so let's go over dimensions, and then we'll talk about this radio. So dimensions, six and a quarter inches across, three and a half inches tall, and one and a half inches in depth, including that FM antenna sticking out the back there like that. That's why it kind of props up like this and not flat up like that. So let's do size comparison. I'm going to bring this up. Uh, I got some radios and things I like to compare with you, as you guys know. CC Pocket. Yeah, it's not gonna. This isn't gonna fit in your pocket, but easy to put a little in a little case and take it with you on a trip. Not a big deal. Uh, what else we got over here? Do I have a CC Skywave? Oh, I have my Skywave right here. There you go. CC so Skywave. Pretty awesome shortwave radio, as you guys know. Um, quite a bit of stuff here. I mean, I almost want to pack both of these radios if I took a trip. Then you have everything covered. I like that. Uh, that'd be a cool setup. And of course, we have. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves ocean digitals with Wi-Fi radios from China land. He's Iron Man. You get it, right? <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and lower this down, go over some features, and then we'll talk about FM reception, and then we'll get to turn this thing on. So left-hand side, smooth plastics. Front, we have a nice two-inch speaker. Sounds fantastic. Again, the bonus of having this radio Wi-Fi, you know, why you want it is because you have a great sounding speaker, great audio source, and it's all one device. Loving that. The screen's really cool. It's a 2.4 inch TFT color display. Um, shows graphics really nice. With There's graphic art uh, with the Wi-Fi channels. It looks good. I'm digging that. Um, we have some buttons here. We have a home button. This is for your main menu and your current playing screen. Here we have a location and EQ button. It's used to access local stations. So when you press this, it goes to like local, which means like your country. Like mine, so we'll say United States. I'll get to show that to you. And then if you press and hold it, it accesses the EQ mode. There's a ton of EQ settings. Plus there's a custom five band EQ with some game uh, parameters in there as well. Uh, loving the EQ setup. It sounds fantastic on headphones, by the way. We'll get to that. Um, okay, so controls in the middle here. Pretty self-explanatory. It's a navigation wheel. We have an OK button for selecting. Um, when you go right on some uh, uh, choices, you'll see extra information, which is nice. Of course, up and down, and then your back. This takes you out of things sometimes. Uh, here we have the favorites, which is 99 presets. So you get 99 presets on the radio. It still doesn't sound like a lot, but 99 is quite a bit. And it will intermix your FM stations and your DAB stations and also your Wi-Fi stations that you find. And it saves it all on the favorite list, and you can go through and edit that, and then, of course, access your stations. Loving it. And here we have a sleep timer, um, which is, uh, I believe, you can adjust on the configuration setting. So neat. Right-hand side, nothing. Very simple. Bottom, got little feet there. Okay, top of the radio, we got a power button. Got to press and hold it to turn it on. We have three quick presets, which is nice. So you can add uh, just by pressing and holding uh, when you're in your favorite station. Let's do that. And volume control. I like how it's recessed there. And you can access it from the front, or like this, or the top even. Sweet. Back of the radio, we got the antenna, which is really nice for FM and your DAB. Um, I can't test it for DAB because I live in the States, but uh, hopefully it works good for you guys. FM, it's amazing. 21 and a half inches. Comes out and it pivots. You can see how it pivots here. 360 degrees. It's just a really nice setup. Um, I wish it was more recessed, but, you know, it's it'll it'll do. Um, on the back here, you'll see a little, little sticker there showing the mile number, charge rate 5 volts, 1 amp in, like I mentioned. Here we have a charge status LED. Solid red means charging. Solid green means it's charged. Headphone jack. Yes, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> uh, no low-level hiss, which is amazing. Um, you can really turn it down really low, and it sounds fantastic. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we got there. So, yeah, you got uh, great FM stereo sound. You also have uh, great lows, mids, and highs because of the custom EQ. You can make this thing sound fantastic on whatever headphones you're using. Uh, here's your DC input Type-C. Very basic. There's an internal battery, uh, 2,000 milliamp hour rated. Um, hour runtime, I get about 5 to 10 hours depending on how loud that volume is and how much I'm using the Wi-Fi. If I'm using FM radio, it doesn't tend to use it as much, but with the Wi-Fi, you use a little bit more energy for sure. You can see it's got four screws to open this up if you wanted to. 
All right, so let's get to the front. Talk about FM reception, and we'll turn this on. Show you how this works. So FM reception report. I always like to go over radios that have FM capabilities. This FM sensitivity on this radio, um, I usually do a five-tier method. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. This one here rates a good um, to very good. It found 76 stations, which is well above average. A basic analog radio finds about 48 stations. Um, your typical old school. I'm trying to find one on my desk. I think I have one here. Old school Panasonic. This sucker finds about 48 stations. It runs about okay to good. So yeah, this is above average, which is great, probably because it's a, a DSP uh, you know, circuit in there and it sounds fantastic. Um, RDS information uh, comes up really quick and FM stereo does on almost all stations. Gotta love that. That's a bonus. Uh, what else we got about that? Now we're, we're good. Um, so yeah, I've covered that. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Press and hold the power button. It'll say Ocean Digital. Now on my camera, if I turn it like this, this is about true color. So that's about what I'm seeing. If I do this, it's kind of washed out. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a little sound demo. I have Radio Todbert playing on a C-Crane FM transmitter, 92.9 megahertz. Um, transmitting YouTube royalty free music so I can play some music on this device since I don't have a server set up. So let's go ahead. You can manually tune FM by pressing and holding OK. So we're going to do that. I should say tuning. There we go. So I'll tune over to 92.9. There we are. There's our signal strength indicator showing we're in stereo, better life, clock. Nice. Okay, let's turn this up, please, for a few minutes. for the audio there's so much to cover I want to get into the Wi-Fi part it's always the best um, so we're gonna go ahead and just stop that um, turn off my transmitter okay so as you can see we're in FM mode shows our megahertz again I was showing signal strength indicator um, I believe uh, when you first turn this on it goes it asks for presets I'm a manual tuning let me turn that off press and hold OK should turn that off which it just did it's kind of lapsed time meter I don't know why that is okay so let's go back there we are this is showing the presets found. So when I first turned it on, it said scan FM, which I did. I was upstairs and I was able to find all these stations. Now downstairs, I won't be able to. But I want to go, let's see, press and hold. Let's see if it goes 
There we go. So 105.5, it's a music station, but it does have RDS. I can't hover on the music, but you'll see it says stereo RDS. You can even see the signal is weak and I have the antenna down. It's a strong station though, but it'll come up with the information uh, RDS. It's not HD radio. Wish it was, but uh, I guess they can only add so much to our radio. But let's uh, turn this up. But it's nice. It'll have that information for you there. So cool. Very simple. Loving the radio. Okay, so let's get to the Wi-Fi part. The best part ever. So let's go back to home. I'll show you the home menu real quick. Uh, my favorite. Internet radio. Media Center, if you have a Media Center set up, you can access all your music uh, from this radio if you want to, if you're serving it through the Wi-Fi uh, in the house, which is nice. Um, there's your DAB radio. I won't go in there because I'll start scanning and I won't find anything. But for those who have that capability, it's there. Um, we have the FM radio, which I just showed you. Uh, Bluetooth mode, it's, this acts as a speaker source, a receive, not as a send. It's unfortunate, but it's okay. I'm happy with it. Uh, sleep timer. There's your configuration. I don't know if we touched in there. You got network, date, time. Pretty basic, pretty much with the... Uh, yeah, you saw the EQ and that little demo there. Uh, software update, which is really nice. Uh, you can update this firmware, which is good, just in case. Um, let's go with internet radio. There it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... Set this here for a second. Yeah, internet radio. There's tons of stations, and we're going to check this out. So let's explore the internet radio on this Wi-Fi Ocean Digital. All right, so in this section, we'll go ahead and click on internet radio. You'll see it says Skytune. Uh, search Skytune in history. Uh, we'll go Skytune. Now you can go globe most popular. Let's see what's going on there. Uh, we had some foreign stations. We'll hear what they're saying. Connecting, there's our signal, buffering. Okay, I can't hover on the music, but there you go. It's a cool station. Um, so yeah, you can uh, search. Let's see if we can go back this way. We can go for different, let's see, country music. Again, this is global favorites. Buffering. There you go. Again, can't hover on the music, but it's cool. Uh, I discovered some cool things too. Let's go ahead. You got BBC Radio. Let's see what this sounds like. We'll continue across many areas through the afternoon. You're listening to Today on Radio 4 with Nick Robinson, Michelle Hussein, and Susan Ray with a summary of the news. A study by Imperial College London suggests nearly 100,000 people are contracting the coronavirus so you have in the, uh, every day. The rate, and the pace of the epidemic uh, is accelerating. Frequency killer, it's a two channel, so you have stereo. Scientists nice. Have carried out the research say the uh, stereo through the headphone port on the back, of course. Are not sufficient, and a nationwide approach would be beneficial. Sounds Ministers really good. Love this. Love that it's portable. <laughs> All right, so I saved some uh, Wi-Fi things, but let's go ahead and just Navarro keep exploring. Told us he was surprised at Fun part, the infection had I noticed you can go to local Europe radio. Weeks. So People those, in I'm in the United States, national oh, talking over this lady. <laughs> United States most popular, United States by state, that's cool. So let's go, uh, I don't know, if you like some Hawaiian music, let's see if we can pick up Hawaii with this radio. I think you just press and hold this too. There it is, Hawaii. Let's see what's in, most popular in Hawaii. Uh, well, we got community, we got public radio. Aloha Joe. All right, let's do this. Okay, cool Hawaiian music. Let's go back. We'll go uh, let's see a Hawaii rainbow. I love this exploring part of the Wi-Fi radio. Very nice <laughs> and very enjoyable. So yeah, there's quite a bit. Uh, I mean, it's, again, this is just one state uh, and you can see there's so much uh, on here. So let's go ahead and go back to home. Actually, I don't want to do home. Let's go back to the uh, internet radio. Let's search some more. 
Um, I know it says search sky tune, but then you got to type stuff in. I just like going by the folders here. Uh, global all by genre. Here we go. By genre. Talk based. Okay, that might be safer to go. Let's see arts and culture. So we can pick up there. Um, I probably wouldn't understand that. Let's see. We got. Let's see what this is. Eighty-eight point five. I think this is probably religious. Let's see. Yep, <laughs> guess that one. Um, American old time. Let's see what's it gonna say. Let's just click it because I did pick up some uh, old time radio stations, which is cool. Old time radio. Okay, cool. Finish, but don't want to pay the price of fighting dirt, grime, and scuffs. Use With commercials, what? <laughs> That's a first. The screen's really nice in person. It's awesome. Oh, there we go. That's what it looks like to me. Nice blues. It's kind of washed out directly on, but uh, yeah, there's this nice blue color to it. Awesome. Love little icons. There we go. Like a good spot. Oh, Chris, it's Seal wonderful out here on And I have you all to myself here. That's what you've always wanted, is that light? You have me all to yourself. Our old time yes, radio? Darling. Oh, Chris, look. There's smoke coming out of the engine hatch. The boat is on fire. Yes, you're right. Flames are shooting out of the hatch. The whole boat is catching fire. Thanks for to swim for oh. The gasoline tank is liable to explode any second. But Chris oh, WLW. Sweet. Let's see if they can. Bring them in. President loves his supporters. He was thrilled to visit Omaha last night. Despite the cold, tens of thousands of people showed up for that rally. And because so, of the sheer size of the crowd. I can get uh, WHAS, too, with this uh, radio, which is awesome. I can listen to Coast to Coast, uh, especially on a mad, bad night when it's fading quite a bit with my normal radios. I can uh, get this one going and take it over to the bed and listen to it. It's awesome. Well, that would kind of suck. And most of the time, these... Supporters show up hours in advance, so you're already, you know, stand the nights out for hours before you see the president. Then when he's done, it's like, well, where's the buses? All right, Philip, thanks for hanging in there. Hey, man, no problem. Uh, yeah, you know what? Christmas fun. <laughs> cool. Building America's largest 5G network for this epic 5G and a commercial. Home. Introducing the new iPhone 12 Pro now at T. Comedy Club. Let's see what's going on here. Tax system has broken down because working families pay the same rate as wealthy well, CEOs. <laughs> the Fair Tax Amendment. I think I just picked the same stations. I just picked the same station. Probably did. Say right. There we go. I only did it once twenty years ago after a Lou Reed concert, but I think it would be fun. <laughs> Do you want to take a road trip together sometime? <laughs> So yeah, you got comedy you can listen to. I'm loving this. Yeah, this is a good part to showcase. Uh, spend some time on this. Education. Let's see. Educa ABC. Okay, so it looks like mainly news. It says mainstream. I know there's some, uh, yeah, foreign language. So it's just so much you can pick here. Buddha. <laughs> I'm having fun. This is great. Loving this radio. Of course, some of my viewers know what he's saying. Awesome. Gonna keep going here. Kids and family, news traffic weather. Wow, there's quite a bit in here. Old Time Radio has its own folder. Yeah, you guys are fans, right? 1920s radio network. So there's a few in here. Yeah, I think I got By Golly, and I think I, there's another one on here. Hanks. Hanks is pretty cool. Hanks Old Time Radio, and I got Hanks Gumshoe. That's cool. So Horror Radio. Nice. John Dollar. Let's pick that. What's the matter with you? Johnny, I'm going to tell you something. You're not talking to your little hoodlum friends. You're talking to a policeman. Nobody's trying to intimidate you. Nobody's trying to make you say things you don't want to say. You're talking to a policeman that's trying to do his job. What happened tonight? Okay, so it's Broadway's my yeah, beat. Beach party. 
So it's like a detective uh, channel. Cool. And without favorites, you can save it, which is pretty cool. So if you found that one, you like it. Okay, move up, move down, delete. That's nice. We were the last ones there. What made Paula want to stay? She'd never been swimming at night. And she swam out past the breakers and a wave washed her against a rock. Is that what happened? Yes, sir. Okay, looks like I'm in my favorites right. already. Okay, cool. Can I go now? Uh -huh. Good night, Johnny. Thanks. So Maybe what you can do is press and hold this. The well, icon appears and saves it to your favorites. I'm going to talk to Toby. And the favorite section is pretty cool. We'll check it out real quick and then we'll end this segment. And we'll do final thoughts on the radio. Toby. Okay, let's uh. Toby. So yeah, Honolulu Rock. See, there's Johnny Dollar I just saved. Here's WHAS. This is uh, usually coast to coast on uh, evenings. I think we might be picking it up. I just can't hover on it. They definitely protect their stuff. Yeah, that's okay. That's coast to coast again. I can't hover on that for sure. <laughs> had an issue before. Um, yeah, so you got, uh, I got a local rock station here, 95.5. Yeah, good music. <laughs> so you get the idea. It's pretty simple. Uh, you don't have to type anything in. You just do your searches uh, by those genres, by your location. I mean, I love that uh, the state one is awesome. Let's go home. Go back to the uh, internet radio. Yeah, the biggest thing is uh, the local radio. I love that. Um, that's a really cool thing because the United States, by state, I do like this. You know, you can California's going to be popular. I got some viewers I love. So many stations here, most popular in California. Smooth jazz. All right, let's hear that. Okay, that's cool. All righty. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just go back to my favorites. Actually, back to home. And we'll do final thoughts. Uh, let me just fade the black here, and we'll be back, and we'll talk about the final thoughts on Social Digital. Very cool radio so far. All righty, be right back. So final thoughts on the Ocean Digital WR23D. Um, is it a buy at 68 bucks? Yeah, this is really a cool radio. Um, if you like having a portable Wi-Fi device like this with a nice speaker sound, FM radio, DAB receiver, again, if you can get that, um, yeah, it's worth the money, definitely. Uh, rechargeable, uh, I like the fact that it's probably, you could probably change that battery out. I mean, it has screws to get to this thing, and I bet you could change that battery. Uh, if you got some skills, not a problem. Uh, liking all the features this provides, uh, just amazing. Love the color screen. I love the audio that comes out of here. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this review. It gets uh, definitely a Totterbird thumbs up. I mean, it's unique compared to you know your everyday fare. Um, this is something fun. I mean, yeah, you could you saw what it, you could get on the Wi-Fi. There's just so many stations. Uh, sky's the limit. Trust me. There's so much out there. I'm um, loving it. So there it is. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big like. You guys are the best. Uh, two, if you um, you know want to know more about uh, Ocean Digital Project projects, Ocean Digital products. And uh, you want to see more uh, information about them, more scans, different things like that, just hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future reviews and uh, comparisons, which I hopefully, because I like this brand a lot, I own another one, which I reviewed. And of course, three, comment below what you think about the WR23D. Do you think this would be a nice addition to your arsenal of radios? Um, are you new to radio and you like the idea of having a portable FM radio and then Wi-Fi all at your fingertips and you sit there and explore everything? Um, let me know. Be glad to hear it. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.